Hello everyone, happy Sunday. I hope you're doing really great today. We're going to be talking about this tropical disturbance or Invest 97L, which is offshore Africa, a brewing tropical storm, likely long-term hurricane as well. And there are still a lot of question marks in terms of where the system is going to be headed because it's so far out. So predicting that long-term track is not something that can necessarily be done just yet. But as time goes by, I'll be keeping you posted on it. However, the system is currently just a little bit of organization away from being considered a tropical depression. So if you saw my update video last evening, I mentioned that if the system wanted to surprise us, it could become a tropical cyclone sooner than midweek. And it looks as though that is exactly what it is doing. It is in a favorable environment right now. So we're going to be looking at those conditions around it and uh, what is expected in terms of the model data. So let's get into the details. All right, guys, and just before we head into the details, again, this is the first book that I have published. Uh, I published earlier this year. Weather Wise, an introduction to weather for kids. So if you have any kids between the ages of 7, 12, or even outside of that range, or even if you want to get a better understanding of the basics of weather, you can definitely give this book a purchase. It has fun activities. There are note pages included, so it can be used for other things as well. Give it a purchase on Amazon. The link is in the pinned comment down below. Now on with the weather. Here we are seeing what is taking place on the infrared satellite imagery this evening. So there's lots of showers and thunderstorms. You have a little bit of a rain surge in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. That's been helping to enhance the rain across parts of Florida. And in sections of the Caribbean, there's been those afternoon showers and thunderstorms as anticipated. And there we have Invest 96L, not going to be a problem for anyone. It's just by itself out there with a low 20% formation chance. And then the main talk of the video, which is Invest 97L. So here in a closer view, we can see the system. It's definitely getting organized and it has a well-defined center. So with more organized shower and thunderstorm activity, the system will likely be classified as a tropical depression. And that could happen as soon as later this evening or tonight, uh, going into tomorrow as well. Now, it is bringing impacts to the Cabo Verde Islands. So additional periods of heavy rain and thunderstorms are going to be likely with those gusty winds as well as we progress throughout the rest of uh, this evening and going into tomorrow for the islands as well. So the system is going to be moving by and bringing those impacts with it. Looking at the latest here from the National Hurricane Center, as of this afternoon's update, the system has a high 90% chance of development through the next seven days a high a medium rather 50 percent chance through the next 48 hours but of course it's been doing pretty good with those conditions that uh, are around it so pretty likely that we will see the system become in a tropical storm maybe within a day or so and this kind of track here based on this shaded area it kind of reminds me of irma back in 2017 every single storm is different so it's not to say that hey this is going to be an irma no it's likely this will be erin because erin is the next name to be used on the list and yeah every storm is unique and the areas down the road that need to keep watch are bermuda i would say the bahamas turks and caicos and the southeastern united states those are the areas that should keep watch for the system because as i mentioned at the start of the video predicting that long-term track is very very difficult at this point because we're talking about something that literally just came off of africa so talking about exactly what it will do a week plus from now is kind of uh something to take with a grain of salt but as time goes by and we get a better picture of what is likely to happen uh, based on the steering mechanisms and all that we will know where is most likely to be impacted if anywhere the most ideal scenario with this is that it stays offshore land and just be you know a fish storm out there at sea but we know that there is that possibility of land impacts previous model runs over the past several days show the system making landfall in parts of the u.s going to the bahamas and all that and then we've seen them kind of uh, shifting to taking the system more out to sea and possibly bermuda as an area to definitely keep a close watch at the system so there's been changes i'm expecting more changes over the coming days because of the fact that it's the weather that we're talking about and changes are inevitable and looking at the surface chart here we can see so there are two tropical waves one associated with 96 l and that next one associated with 97 l and next we want to go ahead and talk about those atmospheric conditions surrounding invest 97 l 
we know that those sea surface temperatures are very warm already very supportive of development of the system in terms of all that dry air it is in a favorable environment right now not seen it being engulfed by all that dry air there's quite a bit out there don't get me wrong but it's not really impacting the system right now it is in a conducive area to further develop and intensify in terms of those upper level winds looking at this graphic here it may be a little bit confusing those red lines indicate areas where the upper level winds are not supportive of development that's when they're strong they're basically winds interfering with the system as it develops the yellow lines indicate where it's kind of neutral so not very strong not too weak and then those green lines indicate those areas of the weaker upper level wind so those won't interfere much with development so ahead of the system we can see that it is certainly a conducive environment in the tropical atlantic for intensification in terms of those upper level winds as it relates to our models this is a look at the model track guidance here we can see that quite a few of them are available and they all take the system generally westward for the next two three days and then it starts moving on a west northwestward track and then make a curve likely staying offshore the caribbean which is some good news for us here in the caribbean basin again changes are possible but we see this general trend these models being in some agreement about that eventual curve it's a matter of the timing so if the system turns sooner it will likely stay offshore land if it turns later it could impact somewhere directly and then in terms of intensity all available models are expecting at least a tropical storm from the system maybe within the next 36 to uh, 60 hours from now and then they show some gradual intensification eventually if the system becoming a hurricane and we have quite a few models expecting that it will reach category 3 status one showing that a cat 4 is possible from the system which i think is definitely possible as well given the environmental conditions and how conducive they are becoming ahead of it so I'm certainly expecting that it will become the first hurricane, possibly the first major hurricane of the season. So major hurricane, if you're not aware, major hurricane is basically category three, four or five winds exceeding 110 miles per hour. So that is the latest for the system for right now, guys. It's certainly taking advantage of the conditions to develop and developing a little bit faster than initially anticipated. So it's likely to become a tropical storm early this week and eventually a hurricane in terms of those long-term impacts again the areas to keep watch bermuda the bahamas and turks and caicos and also the southeastern united states nothing is set in stone for the long term but that's why i'm here to keep it posted so that's pretty much what i wanted to bring to your attention in today's video i do hope you found it to be informative but if you have any additional questions in regards to the system you can leave them down in the comments below i will respond to you when i have the chance to do so and remember to always be weather wise.